In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SF5 minus. We'll take a look at the bond angles and the molecular geometry. SF5 minus has 42 total valence electrons. We'll put sulfur in the center. It's the least electronegative of these elements here. So we put our sulfur and then we're going to put five fluorines around it. We'll place a pair of electrons between each of the atoms to form chemical bonds. And I'll just use a line to show that pair of electrons. At this point, we've used a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 valence electrons. And you'll note that sulfur has more than 8. That's OK. Sulfur can have an expanded octet. Next, we'll put electrons around each of these fluorines here to complete their octets. So right now, each of the fluorines has 8 valence electrons. The sulfur has 10. That's OK. But we've only used 40. So we're going to place the last two valence electrons right here on the sulfur. And that completes the Lewis structure. And sulfur can have 12 valence electrons. If we looked at the molecular geometry, we can see these fluorines, they're all going to spread out and push away from each other. And then this lone pair up here, it'll do the same. And that'll look something like this. We'll add five atoms, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see they're all spread out from each other. And then we're going to add a lone pair of electrons. That lone pair pushes all of these other ones down, stays up here, just like in our drawing. And we have bond angles of 90 degrees. The molecular geometry is called square pyramidal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for SF5 minus molecular geometry and the bond angles too. Thanks for watching.